Hi guys, this is Ayodotsum, Canva Certified Crazy from Lagos, Nigeria. Now, a lot of us use Canva for design, for branding, which is awesome. But did you know that Canva offers you even more support with business activities? Case in point, presentations. I personally use presentations for my student slides, marketing strategy, pitch decks, and the like. And recently, Canva even launched 75 new company presentation templates. What? So they've got stuff from weekly updates to employee onboarding documents to company profiles and whatnot. So we're going to have fun with presentations today. Stick with me and let's have some fun with it. All right, so let's get into it. Like I always say, Canva has a lot to offer the business community. Canva is ready for business, has been for a very long time. And one of the typical ways to use Canva or maximize it for business is presentations. So let's go into presentations. When you typically search the presentations tab on your homepage, you will find a lot of supporting documents from <laughs> like there's a myriad of documents, new hire resources, team retro, marketing presentations, stuff for teachers. Yes, yes, yes. For stuff for teachers as well pitch decks, business plans, reports. There's a whole, whole lot. And with the new set of company presentations or added to company presentations established, there's even more for you to maximize. Just <laughs> look at it from company missions, mission and goals to onboarding documents for new staff, new hires, weekly team updates. You have company culture documents. You have playbooks. You have all sorts, all sorts. There's so, so much more to use and maximize um, via the company presentations. Just type that into your search on the homepage and voila, lots of options to use. All right, so let's test a few. Let's try out a few. Which should we try today? Let's try the weekly status reports. All right, so one thing I really like or love about Canva is the fact that it doesn't only offer you design inspiration or design support, it offers content support. So, for example, you're looking at this documents category, a weekly status report. You might be a busy executive and you think, ah, I, I, I may have missed something or the other. Canva always has a reminder, has a piece or an element of the documents you may have forgotten to add. Using the templates always reminds you, just your memory, literally, <laughs> you know, helps you to remember to add this element or that element. So, weekly status reports, for instance, should have the different goals and timelines. Yeah, I love this part. It says progress check, blockers, and action items. Just things that you might not have thought, you know, to add to your documents or you might have forgotten or just overlooked. So for example, you have the company culture. Let's open up another one. I like that as well, because I think that as a new hire, you might, you are going to have a lot of <laughs> talks with your employer. You're going to have like a, an onboarding a program. And imagine if you had the onboarding program in this format with this exciting, exciting documents, exciting, exciting. Just look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> you know, this looks like a document that I want to come back to as a staff, you know, because it's not a boring word document. It's something like, you know, it's forgettable, you know, this kind of document. So I like that very much. I also like the company culture handbook um, templates here. In case you forgot an element, like I said, it's got you covered. And one thing, you know, this brings me to the next thing. One thing I often have that was happens to me when I'm creating slides is that I have a lot of slides at the end of the day. Perhaps I'm working on a strategy document for a client or I'm preparing slides for my students. Sometimes I have up to hundred slides, a hundred slides. Yes, <laughs> that's quite a lot, but yes. And so I would um, want to mix and match slides. So I have this collection, which is very nice, uh, but I want to add maybe something that has a lot of texts, maybe like a bullet points type text thing. So what I do is I can, I'm not losing this slide, or maybe I want to lose this slide. Uh, let me find something that has bullet points. So what you can do is mix and match, mix and match from someplace else. So I'm going to pick this from another collection of slides, another collection of slides. Perhaps I want to add graphs. Instead of having to go and create from scratch, I always say you don't have to create from scratch everything. There's a template for almost or close to what you want to create part time. So perhaps I want to add something else. So I duplicate that slide. <laughs> Did you see that? And replace with the touch of a button with a simple click. Duplicate the slide and easy peasy. You want to pick from someplace else, easy peasy, <laughs> easy peasy. So duplicate again and pick, perhaps you want to have a board 
with some things beautiful so you don't have to create this from scratch and add to the no you don't need to you can pick from someplace else pick from someplace else again let's pick from someplace else online marketing okay let's have some fun with this <laughs> i hope you are seeing things that you can do for yourself from this tutorial you can pick that oh i don't want like i don't want to use this pick that you know so which brings me to the next hack <laughs> there's a lot there's a lot you know and the user experience on canva is becoming so much easier so much easier to you know to just flow with so you have this collection of slides you have all sorts of slides you have you know all this stuff of added and you're thinking oh my goodness am i going to manually update these things based on my brand from the scratch from scratch from the fonts to the color nah 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 <laughs> there's a beautiful feature which i love so much i think you should absolutely use the styles when you look to the left the styles if for some reason you've never used it before and it's on your account you want to click the more and then the styles so when you go to styles on the left before you you know get into presentation on a daily basis or documents creation creating on canva on a daily basis you've probably already created your brand kit if you haven't done so please go ahead and do so so I have on my brand keys, I've established, this is a pro account, of course, and um, I've established my fonts, updated my fonts. But I believe you can do that on the free account as well in terms of establishing your fonts using the, the collection on Canva. So I click on my fonts. So when I click on my fonts, did you see what happened? Let me undo and quickly show you. <laughs> so there was a font there, which is League Spartan. But my font, my brand font is Averni. So I'm going to click that. Did you see the switch? Mm -hmm. Now, you probably also don't want to do this every single time. Come here and do this and come there and do that. Easy peasy. So once you select the font on the first slide, select the fonts that way, you apply, go to the bottom of your page and apply to all pages. And then you see the message style applied across all pages. <laughs> so that has established the fonts across board. If you go everywhere, you see they have any fonts, the headline and the supporting fonts. In fact, on my brand kit, I'd included a, a body font. So I had headline, supporting headline and a body text. So all of that is established from my brand kit. And it's, you know, it applies across the presentation. Have any? Have any? Have any? That was not the case before. Have any? Have any? You can see all the way. Have any? Have any? Yes, yes, yes. So there's something else I need to do before I wrap this up. Because these colors, not all the colors on this document are my brand colors. So I am going to establish using this and apply to all pages as well. So everything establishes it. Everything adjusts to my brand colors, my brand colors all the way. So this was pink before, my brand colors all the way, all the way. This was orange before, <laughs> black. So these are my brand colors all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. So fantastic and then you're done with your documents you can imagine so i'm going to show you this feature again on someplace else i'm going to show it to you just one last time so let's say i want to mix and match some other things with this i want to go with something super minimalist perhaps so you know these can be a bit simple maybe i want to add some boards this is green not my brand color okay maybe i want to come here add something so i duplicate so i can replace you know let's begin perhaps i even want to delete this all together you know or this all together i want to delete it and just replace it with something else i don't need to duplicate i just click and it goes that way i want to take from another document yes another document same thing same process okay so i want something very text-based voila so let's make the changes let's ad adapt the styles let's adapt the styles Let's say this was originally green or something weird that's not my brand color in any way. I want to really prove to you it works. So look at the fonts, Barlow. Look at the fonts, Telegraph. Ugh. From all the mixing and marking and matching, DM Sans, Barlow, all of that stuff. So go to Styles. Again, select the established fonts. Aveni, adjusted, Aveni. Oh no. <laughs> we need to apply to all pages first. Okay, apply great and of course the colors and then apply to all voila amazing adapted to my brand can you see all the way my colors my black my white my red and a bit of yellow 
voila thank you for watching be sure to maximize canva for your business in every way possible canva pro canva for enterprise canva is there for you <laughs> i hope you learned a thing or two enjoy Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial. I hope you learned a thing or two about presentations and you're looking to do great stuff with it. Find me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, my business page, Lifestyle Hughes, even here on YouTube. Bye for now. See you in the next tutorial.